Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So we will see today for feature and reissue of shares. Simple basic information you got it. That you are not supposed to forget. Same general interest you have to remember. Apart from that, what is for feature and how we can reissue this for feature uh, shares and what kind of entries we are going to get that we will focus today. I need your concentration. Yes, what is for feature? Example, <clears throat> we have we have issued a shares at par 10 rupees. Share value is 10 rupees. How we have issued? First, uh, we are giving for application, application, allotment and first call and second call in four steps we wanted to get back this 10 rupees okay so application suppose say 2 rupees allotment 3 rupees first call 2 rupees second call 3 rupees you got 10 rupees okay so like this we are expecting at par 10 rupees an application 2 rupees we are expecting in the beginning allotment 3 rupees first call and second call right suppose say uh, after getting this allotment amount, the shareholder is unable to pay. Shareholder is unable to pay. This is he paid. And from here onwards, he did not pay anything. He could not pay. And for such kind of cases, the company must mention or uh, the company has to give prior notification to the shareholders that you have to pay so and so amount prior notification 14 days or one week something like that so after receiving the notification also if the shareholder is not going to respond please remember this point after receiving the notification from the company to pay the amount of allotment first call second call if they are not responding then the company is having the right to forfeit the shares the company can forfeit this shares this we can say forfeit. Forfeit means jept karna. Company is going to keep that amount. And what is the amount they are going to forfeit? This 2 rupees already they have received. Already they have received. This amount is not received. This is not received. What company has received? 2 rupees only they have received. 2 rupees they can forfeit. Whatever is not yet received like 3, 2, 3, this amount is, they cannot do anything. But this amount they can forfeit. Means jept kar lete. So this is called as forfeit. And after forfeiting the shares, what the company is going to do? So this is extra amount. They, di they did not put any struggle, company did not put any struggle. And simply they have taken the money of the shareholders for not responding. So this amount, like 2 rupees, they can reissue. 2 rupees means not ex exactly 2 rupees. Suppose 10,000 shares are there. 10,000 into 2. It comes to 20,000. 20,000 they can reissue it. If 1 lakh shares are there, 1 lakh into 2 rupees, it comes to 2 lakh. 2, ra 2 lakh they can reissue. So this is, we call it as a for feature and reissue of the shares. For for feature, reissue of the shares. We'll have three entries apart from normal entries. Normal entries, you know. Apart from that, you have to learn three entries only. Did you understand this concept? Shall I explain once again? Suppose say uh, in another example also we can take. Suppose say he made the payment of uh, application amount he made and allotment also paid. But uh, first call, second haul he could not pay. First call, second call. This is 5 rupees already paid. Rest of the 5 rupees he did not pay. Company has given notification. But he did not respond. The company can forfeit this 5 rupees. 5 rupees they can forfeit. So this is nothing to do. We, we are not going to touch anything. Because anyway he did not pay. So this 5 rupees with company can forfeit. Means company can keep the amount with them. Simply keeping is not going to useful. So that is why this 5 rupees they can reissue. Reissue the shares to the shareholders. General shareholders. This is forfeiting and reissue of the shares. 
for forfeiting one entry forfeiting one entry and for reissue two entries total we are going to learn three entries three entries apart from journal entries apart from normal issue of shares we have learned in the class last class previous classes apart from that we are going to learn three entries what are those three one is for forfeit one entry for reissue of the shares two entries total three entries we are going to learn so clearly i have prepared this table i'll make you to understand you have to buy hard today right for feature for fit the shares and reissue for fit the share reissue for three stages i am taking one is shares issued at par at par means same value 10 rupees is the share value 10 rupees only we are issuing that is at par we know another case is that share issued at premium premium means some extra amount actual rate is par value is 10 rupees but i want to issue for 12 rupees the extra 2 rupees is premium okay if shares are issued at premium this is second case third case is that shares issued at discount at a discount means par value is 10 rupees but i want to issue for 9 rupees 1 rupees discount three cases at par at premium at discount three cases we will learn three entries first case three entries second case three third case also three entries are you sure okay now uh, gets let's get ready to learn this entries first entry is here for feature as i told you for feature one entry only so that one entry in case of par if you should at par one entry but that is share capital account data to calls account to for feature shares share capital so far before for feature we used to credit when you are receiving we used to credit now we are not receiving forfeiting forfeit means reverse of the receiving entry when we were receiving it was on the credit side right it was on the credit side share capital now to cancel that credit entry we are writing on the debit side for feeder entry always remember share capital will be debited why earlier already we have credited that we have to cancel for cancellation we are writing on the debit side okay remember share capital account at a to call some calls account calls account is what is that due amount due means here this 5 rupees due not paid that is due okay so to calls account to for feature shares for feature so how much is forfeited 2 and 5 this 2 and 5 is forfeited for feature say shares credit side calls account so this is due okay due is this is due forfeited is this one first entry is share capital account at r to calls account to for feature shares so what is the narration we are writing being shares issued at par forfeited being shares issued at par forfeited okay now next one here simultaneously will go same kind of entry here also if issued at premium same entry forfeited entry forfeited entry means a bit a bit i am writing okay so what is the entry issued at premium and if money is unpaid two cases we are taking issued at premium if money is unpaid money is unpaid if money is received if money is unpaid means share capital account at r share premium account at r same one share capital two calls to for feature same share capital two calls to for feature only what we are adding share premium on the debit side because issuing at a premium right so share premium we are adding on the debit side to the same entry share capital account at r share premium account at r two calls to for feature shares now this is when unpaid shares value is unpaid so in brackets we are writing being shares issued at premium and premium money is due not yet paid if premium money is receiving then this is the bit if receiving 
receiving what do we write share capital account at our same entry share capital account at our to calls account to for future shares okay so these two entries of the issue of shares at premium premium unpaid paid unpaid only we are getting share premium on the debit side if paid same entry as it is we are writing okay same uh, we'll write uh, be being shares issued at premium and premium money received here premium money is due here premium money is received so one entry rather than one entry we have divided into two parts able to remember premium unpaid premium paid now coming to the shares issued at discount at discount here share capital as it is debit side always share capital that are two calls to for future same entry when you are issuing at discount one entry comes on the credit side discount on issue on shares credit side here premium debit side na if discount credit side only this you have to remember that entry if you buy at it these two are very easy same entry we have debited here premium credited here discount discount on issue of shares okay narration being shares issued at discount forfeited three entries are forfeited only only in premium two entries we have taken rather than one entry but as par entry and discount entry only one entry here also small difference you have to remember am i clear this entry now first entry is over forfeit entry i said one entry only now next reissue so this 5 rupees application money we have received say 5000 shares we have already issued this person has paid only 2 rupees and 5 rupees rest of the 2 rupees 5 rupees unable to pay means company is going to uh, forfeit this 5 rupees 5 rupees into 5 rupees come 5000 comes to 25000 25000 the company can reissue 25000 company can reissue when company is reissuing the shares two entries comes okay first entry is here reissue of shares two entries first entry is bank account attached to share capital account there we have debited share capital now here it comes on the credit side because we are getting when we are reissuing we are getting the money right when we are getting the money share capital will be credited as usual like previous so bank account attached to share capital account narration what do you write being amount received on reissue being amount received on reissue one entry okay second entry is here you will write for future shares to capital reserve account for future shares that are to capital reserve account why this entry being forfeited amount transfer to capital reserve this forfeited amount whatever is there, this 5 rupees forfeited amount na that is to be transferred to the capital reserve when we are transferring to the capital reserve entry is forfeited shares account attached to capital reserve account right so in brackets you have written being forfeited amount transfer to capital reserve this is common entry this is also common these two are common in both the cases also whether it is issued at par or issued at uh, premium or discount now see let us see the same entry here bbit na bbit means reissue two entries bit bbit here also two entries so what are those entries bank account at our share capital to share premium only premium comes because there is no premium issued at par so only bank account at our to share capital when we are issuing at premium bank account at our share capital to share premium okay the same entry if you see it uh, when we are issuing at discount bank account at our for future shares that are to share capital here uh, bank account at our share capital to share premium share premium was credited now here discount we don't try discount directly share premium credited discount debited discount we don't mention it discount what do we say forfeited shares account bank account at our forfeited shares account at our to 
share capital same entry but only the thing is here we have added share premium on the credit side same entry same entry forfeited share i mean premium entry we have added on the credit side discount is added on the debit side discount debit side but we said forfeited shares account that are so in brackets i have written discount we don't mention directly discount premium credited discount debited but we are using forfeited shares account that are to share capital account this is the common entry for reissuing of the shares here here and here clear then after that when we are issuing this next entry comes to forfeited shares account that are to capital reserve account what did i say the this being forfeited amount transferred to capital reserve forfeited amount is to be transferred to the capital reserve for that second entry transferring to capital reserve no so forfeited shares account that are to capital reserve account forfeited speak along with me forfeited cap, forfeited shares account that are to capital reserve account because forfeited amount is transferred to the capital reserve this is one entry here also same forfeited shares account attached to capital reserve account there also and if you see here also forfeited shares account attached to capital reserve account it means if you learn this entry transferring to capital reserve same entry is applicable here and here also both the sides am i clear very easy to remember so i prepared this table specially for you to easy to remember okay shall i repeat once again first take the screenshot if you by had this next to class will work out problem there is nothing wrong you can work out not only one problem any problem you can work out only this uh, journal entries you have to remember reach forfeited how much is forfeited then how they are issuing are they issuing at par at premium or at discount if it is at par then these are the entries if it is reissuing forfeited also reissuing or when they are reissuing it two entries is it to remember now tell you i'll tell you first one is that forfeit entry at par you will get one one entry only that is share capital account at par to calls to forfeiture calls means due how much is due due means this 5 rupees for future shares forfeited amount means received company received this amount they received now this is forfeited amount so that comes here the same entry when you are issuing at premium premium if money is unpaid then share capital that are share premium account that are two calls to for future share same as it is only share premium we are adding okay if money is received premium money received then share capital same entry as it is when it comes to discount the same entry only discount we are adding here same share capital account that are two calls to for future shares discount it comes on the credit side this you have to remember and when it comes to reissue of shares reissue of shares means bank data to same share capital account here also bank data to share capital when premium is there will be saying to share premium when there is a discount we are saying bank account data for future shares to share capital discount is here for future shares we don't use directly discount word now second entry of reissue is here forfeited amount is transferred to the general reserve okay so capital reserve for that simple same entry always forfeited shares that are to capital reserve account everywhere same able to remember if you are thorough then only will go to the next class one problem i'll work out i'll work out one problem but you can refer your test book and maximum problems you try to work out first take the illustrations then after that practical problems you try to work out by yourself the more practice if you do it will be more easy for you okay practice well and uh, we'll see next class one problem by the way check out our playlist whatever is useful use it and uh, please do forward it, these videos because everything is free of cost use it 
forward it and learn well have a bright career good luck